What's going on YouTube, Carson Cruz, and I wanted to start out this video by giving a shout out to my boy, Crystal, over at Baseball Card Collector Investor Dealer. It's a YouTube page. I'll link the channel below. And his High Roller series, it's a weekly top 20 of the highest selling cards on eBay, kind of inspired me to do this video series that you're about to watch here. But anyway, shout out to him. Be sure to go subscribe to him, check out his videos, and let's get started with the 20, 10, and 5, the top 20 highest selling GMA cards uh, in, the, <laughs> in the last, sorry, in the last five days. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's get in here. Let's get started. Let's look at the top 20 highest selling GMA 10 cards. And this will be the last 10 days. From here on out, it will be five days. So uh, GMA, if you don't know much about them, uh, $5 a card. Takes about two weeks to get them back. Obviously, they're not going to sell as much as PSA 10s. And, you know, like every grading company, there's positives and negatives. But what we're going to look at is, are there positives to grading with them financially? And that's what I'm most interested in. You can see here the number. Uh, we didn't do PSA 10 this prices this time. I, I didn't have enough time to look them all up. I wanted to get this out. Uh, raw, current, and then the GMA 10, and then the number of parallels. Let's get started. Number 20 is a Josh Allen 2018 Prism. Red, white, and blue Prism Rookie. Uh, raw sells for 160. The GMA 10 sold for $299 after grading. Looking at a profit of $134. Um, there are 22 par different parallels to this card. Um, so maybe you can find one of them for cheaper. Or, you know, you could just try to do the base and pick it up and flip it. But anyway, a nice sell there for a Josh Allen card. A nice profit. Turn that $160 into $300. At number 19, 2014 Prism. World Cup, Cristiano Ronaldo, number 161, a Gym Mint 10, uh, sold for $300 at if some of these prices, uh, they were rounded to the closest deal after uh, the shipping and stuff, so that's how the difference in the pricing is, if you look and see, like one of them might be $295, but he might have $5 shipping, but anyway, that's that. Raw, you can pick this up for $52, so just a, if, you know, if you look and find the best one, you know, you're looking at about $60, $240 profit on this Cristiano Ronaldo card. There are 12 Prism Parallels um, within this set, too, so you can look for those because, it obviously, if you can find one of those for closer to this, it'll obviously increase that top number up there. At number 18, we have a 2007 Tops. Kevin Durant rookie set, the white, and th this white one tends to uh, sell for the most out of the, the the three main parallels, I guess, the the black and the orange, uh, just because th these cards are still found in packs out there. You can find them in the McFarlane repacks at Walmart, if you can find the basketball one, uh, all the time. I actually pulled this one and the variation out of one of those uh, this year, within the last two months. Uh, a GMA 10, this one, well, this one sold for $300. Uh, you can pick it up raw for around 50 bucks and uh excuse my marking over there but you can kind of see how freaking nicely centered this card is um it, the thing about some of these um different gmas is a, a lot of people don't realize on these higher end ones that you know they might not sell for as much as a psa 10 um, but if you do the math of it take four months to um if it took you four months to submit to PSA and get it back, and you got a 10, obviously, um, and, and you're not always going to get a 10 with GMA either, but you could repeat this process, um, you know, within a four-month period, four to five times, um, you'll get $250 profit a card. You know, you're looking at making $1,500 uh, doing this. That you, That pretty much outweighs um, s submitting to PSA and getting a 10, but either way, uh, gives you time to, you know, buy cards, and if it comes back, you know, not a 10, then, you know, don't even submit it, just sell it back and, and do it again. Uh, next up, on number 17, there is a 2017 Donruss Elite Series Rookie Patrick Mahomes, Jim at 10, $330. Raw version cost you about 200 and there are no parallels that I could find to this list. Uh, listing sometimes Don does have press pass and stuff, but on cardboard connection there were not any parallels listed. I did learn later on to check the pop, uh, and that might tell me, you know, some that I couldn't find whether, but I didn't, I didn't think of that uh, trick until later. But you know, obviously also 
the pop report is going to be missing stuff if the stuff wasn't graded but i couldn't find any parallels to this other than there is an autographed version uh you make about 130 or 125 dollars profit on this card here and uh i can tell you these sold pretty damn quick um so they, they may be some of these Mahomes that are on this list today might have they, they might go for actually more but the problem is is finding these Mahomes raw in buy now or even best offer for for good deals because it is tough uh they're pretty rare next up at number 16 we have the bazooka lebron james comic strip rookie number 15 graded to gym mint 10 350 dollars you can pick these up raw all day every day for 180 bucks i'm sure you could probably even find them for 150 sometimes uh centering on this one is just a tad bit off it might be 60 40 it might be 65 35 on the right to left there uh, on these older labeled gmas uh, you know i'd heard that gmas grading wasn't as tough and i found on the older labels uh before they upgraded to more graders and got all that stuff that uh, you know i found that some of these are a little more off center especially on the older cards but yeah i want to check that out i did not find any parallels to this card but at number 16 you're looking at making about 200 and seven or sixty-five dollars there on the profit on this card. Uh, next up, we have at number fifteen, and and dude, this is why I went back ten days because I wanted to include this. Uh, you know, probably a pack pull or probably somebody purchased this just for a amazing deal months ago. You know, whenever Select first come out. But at number fifteen, we have a DeAndre Hunter twenty nineteen Select Courtside number one of five Green Prism rookie and. I, I don't after looking I think you know it could be underpriced uh, especially since DeAndre Hunter I think first team or second team all rookie uh, there was no raw to be found obviously one of five but there are 16 different parallels of this court side and uh, dude any rookies you can find uh, that you know are probably mid-level like DeAndre Hunter uh, Kevin Porter Jr brandon clark pj washington some guys like that find any of their court sides court sides under 30 bucks get them great gma and they probably sell for over 100 bucks but anyway uh probably a nice profit on this one i would say uh you know probably 150 200 bucks he probably paid 200 dollars for 150 dollars for it. i don't know uh next up we have a 2012 tops chrome russell wilson and this is not a prism parallel but there are 13 of them uh Raw, you can pick this card up for 200 to 220 bucks. Uh, the cheapest buy now is what that is, $209, and a GMA 10 so you sold for $355, leaving you with a profit of 140 bucks, which is not bad, not bad there for number 15. And as you can see on these higher ones, um, the profit ratio uh, doesn't seem to go as big on most of them, but some of them it is just incredible. Like just the cards that. Uh, you know slide under the radar those are the ones where you can make the most profit and we'll have some of those coming up here pretty shortly at number 13 this is one right here a 20 or 1992 bowman mariano rivera and look that one looks to be pretty damn centered a little bit top heavy but also could be the the way the picture is on the top left there but anyway 355 dollars gma 10 sold for uh, this last week and a raw version will only set you back 70 bucks and one thing i found was you could buy a, a a hobby box like just loaded with packs which back in the day i think if you got a hobby box of stuff like this you could probably get four or five of these and it was 120 bucks on a cardboard connection i believe yeah dude 119 dollars something like that 123 dollars. i don't remember but you can get a whole damn box of these 92 bowmans and uh, there's some other rookies in that set. I believe Chipper Jones, Mike Piazza, uh, just to name a few. I, I mean, I'm not a baseball dude, so I'm not, not real sure. I did not see any parallels. I could be wrong. That could have been like a gold or something set um, that you might find out there when you're looking for this one. But this is the only one that I found. And uh, I found several raw for $70 to $75 that were current listings right now. And that is a huge profit there. I mean, you're talking about 280 bucks right there. Uh, at number 12, we have the 2018 Select Luka Doncic Concourse, number 25, Tricolor Prism Rookie. And guys, uh, the only thing I can think of is that this card looks like it's pushing 60-40 on the centering. The left side looks a little bit wider than the right. 
and PWCC. This is a this was a auction, and so, dude, how many people are look looking for, uh, you know, Luka Doncic on auction right now in a GMA ten? Dude, the auctions on these, uh, you know, unless it's just some card that, you know, everybody is searching for at that moment. Uh, and I don't think right now is the moment for to be, you know, people searching for Luka Doncic. This is obviously some, but, uh, and people are at all times, but like a GMA 10, I don't know. Uh, it just seems like an underwhelming time to list this card up on auction, but PWCC does it all the time. They also could have thought themselves that this is more than likely a PSA 9. Anyway, 365 on the sale. Uh, you can't find this card for raw. The cheapest one I found was 550 bucks. At, at the moment right now and so he, he could have bought this two or three months ago and, and made profit the guy i'm sure he did i'm sure he paid 200 dollars or less for it but uh yeah just a tough 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 deal there it, it you guarantee you if i send off uh a luca tricolor like this um i'm gonna be asking more along the lines of like eight or nine hundred for it um Anyway, there are 14 parallels to the select concourse this year, so those, you know, those, lots of different local rookies to find out there. And uh, go search up on Cardboard Connection. You can kind of see the, uh, or even the pop reports. You'll be able to see the print runs and see which ones are better. And a lot of people say stick to the silver. And and look, the silver uh, is never going to steer you wrong. But also knowing the parallels, don't just stick to the silver. Like when you get into into um, sports card investing, if you're new or if you're thinking about getting into it, go on the Cardboard Connection, go on the Pop Reports, and learn the difference in the print runs on the parallels and how rare they are, what boxes they come in. Because, dude, I'm telling you, you could pick up like a there a lot of the sets. There's like two purples or two pinks or two different red ones, and one of them is super rare. Was only in like a hybrid hobby box or team mall, and the other one came, you know in a blaster or a mega or something and so like yes there are differences and they're slight slightly but in, in when you're talking about grading getting these cards graded um unbelievable that you wouldn't you know you you wanted to you know people the youtubers talk about you know people need to you know about getting into this and you know that they need to get their cards graded and stuff if you're going to get your cards graded and do that stuff it, it would mean it would do so much for your like knowledge of what all's going on to learn the parallels of each of the main sets that come out or that you're going to be investing in if you're going to be investing select optic and prism well then i bet I, you best be able to spot a good deal on a parallel that's super underpriced when you see it because that's how you turn doubling on a card into five six seven ten x but anyway just my thoughts on that uh, hey there, Patrick. At number 11, we've got the 2017 Donruss Optic Patrick Mahomes Ray Rookie. This is the base. There are 15 parallels of this card. You can pick the base up raw for $300. This GMA 10 sold for $488 and sold quick. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that, that, that's a good profit. So you're going to basically turn a $300 card into a $488 card. The centering on this one looks fabulous. Everything. And uh, something I wanted to mention on here, it's, it's tough to maybe tell on some of them, but the you can look at the uh, outline of Mahomes. If that's off any, then you're probably not going to get a 10, but it might not be as visible on the front if that's off sometimes. Uh, but then you'll see on the back that, you know, something's off or maybe this optic sign down here. If more of the embossed or edging is showing, then yeah, basically you don't have a 10. It's just another way of looking if it's, it, you know, at the card, if it's not like simple to see here, like this card, you know, it's like boom, boom, okay, yeah, it's at least 60, 40, we're good. Anyway, moving on. At number 10 is a 2004 OMR Cristiano Ronaldo, number one of 250. Uh, in a Gym 10 GMA, this card sold for $520. You pick this card up raw right now for 250 bucks. Uh, it looks identical except for it says limited edition of one of 250 over the future stars on this card you, Dude, you can pick this regular version of this card up, which would probably sell for a ton. I saw like I don't know if it was like 16 of them or something for 199 bucks uh, or 99 bucks is cheap, but uh, 
yeah, I mean, that might be an option too, but yeah, $250, the cheapest current up, and that would net you about $265 profit. Uh, I think I saw one to 500 as well. I don't really know. It's hard to find a checklist. Uh, there, I didn't have one on cardboard connection for this set, uh, but this card looks fabulous. The condition on it and everything is good, and I, I found some really nice versions of the $250 one that's up right now. Uh, it looks like it, it would be a GMA 10 easily. Um, all right, at number nine, we have the 1996 Fleer Metal Kobe Bryant number 188 rookie card. Uh, a GMA 10 sold for $540. You could pick this card up raw for 45 to 60 bucks, dude. That is a 10x profit. If you, uh, dude, there's one right now for $45 that looks in, it looks in good shape. For 60 bucks, there's five of them up. Uh, there's one parallel to this. It is called the Precious Metal. And I, I did not look into the prices of that one or anything. But, dude, yeah, if you, if you lucked up on that one, uh, yeah, that one sells for a lot. Uh, but, yeah, a huge profit margin on this card. If, uh, you know, you like Kobe Bryant, this would be a good one to pick up if you're thinking about, you know, getting into grading. This would be a good Kobe Bryant rookie card to send off if you got one in good shape or to find one for 50 bucks. Like, dude, that's a $500 profit right there almost, or 490 bucks. Like, wow. Uh, at number eight is a 2012 Topps Chrome Russell Wilson, number 40, rookie refractor. A GMA 10 sold for $650. The raw is $375 of this card, the cheapest current one up. I'm sure you find this for 300 to 350 some days. Uh, there are 14 parallels, I believe, of this card, and uh, yeah, that is also our number seven card uh, a few days before or after 695 one sold. I think it's the same guy too, uh, the same same dude, and I use the same same picture here. It's not a different picture, but it's just he had quantity of this card, and he still has some too. Uh, and I believe it was he has one for 625 and maybe one for 675. I don't know. Anyway, same little deal here you make yourself about $300 profit there are 14 parallels to the base version of this tops chrome card at number six is a 2003 campy oni de futuro lebron james numbered one of 500 gm gma 10 uh sold for $1200 and guys this is more than any other sales within the last 90 days even in a psa or bgs 10 or sgc 10 and the, uh, what I could find, there's two different versions of this card. There might be some number to 1,500 or 1,000, but all I sold was like a gold one and a green one. This is the gold, obviously. And the reason this one sold for more than, and look at the shape on, on this one is condition is mint. There are several mint ones that you could buy for around 100 bucks up on eBay right now, uh, but you're not going to get this 12X type of profit. Uh, the reason this one sold for so much is because you can see on the front of the card there, it is numbered one of 500. I think this card is more along the lines of a 600, $500 to $600 card, maybe in a PSA 10, maybe 450. And you probably expect to make three to 400 uh, if you had it in a GMA 10, maybe 250 to 300. But either way, uh, you definitely gonna make a profit on it. This guy though, Bam! Nailed it with the one of 500. Yeah, I'm gonna start looking for those, dude. That that that's incredible right there. That that's that is nice. Maybe his jersey number two. Who knows? Number 23 or 500 of 500. Anyway, uh, 1200 or uh, sorry, a what? 10, 1095 profit on this card. And uh, yeah, shout out to this dude for uh, having number one of 500. Wrong way. At number five is the. LeBron James uh, Upper Deck Box Set uh, Complete Set here All graded a Gym Mint 10 Sold for $1,499 To my knowledge There aren't any parallels of this set uh, Doesn't mean there isn't uh, if, you got, like, if you guys know of any If I got any of these parallel numbers wrong Feel free to comment those below in the comments uh, A raw version of this set You can get for $250 um, if you would like this set, also if you would like to get a factory sealed version of this set to more than less guarantee that you're going to get most, mostly 9s and 10s on here, uh, you're looking at about $450. Uh, you can pick up a lot of these LeBrons every day uh, 
for $10 to $20 in GMA tents. Uh, I see them selling all the time, especially when they put them up for bids with no reserve. Um, you can pick them up for five to 10 bucks. Uh, you know, they slide through the cracks. You could probably complete this set in a GMA 10 in a couple months at, for about 450 bucks. And not even have to worry about getting them graded. Just buy them as you can pick them up. And then look, $1,499. I saw one, uh, a complete set that had mostly nines and tens and, a, and like a seven or something uh, for sale right now for $1,000, $1,095. But yeah, at number five, the complete box set of the 2003 LeBron rookie set there uh, from Upper Deck. And uh, yeah, $1,500. Nice. At number four is Ace. And this card had several canceled listings on on it i don't know what happened but i did find where it did actually sell and the price and after shipping we have 1523 dollars for a gmatn 2017 prism patrick mahomes rookie silver prism number 269 the raw version of this card sells for 799 dollars uh, so you're looking at a profit of about uh 700 bucks here on this card there are 19 different parallels to this 2017 prism set um i i have no idea like it, it's so hard to find some of these cards uh, patrick mahomes rookie cards in a raw form and some and, and the one a couple that we have coming up yeah you'll see but um yeah the, this patrick mahomes card here is one of the iconic cards you know that people always talk about you can pick up a nice raw card here. This one looks to be about 60-40 on the centering. It's a little more right side heavy than left side. Uh, but at number four, we have about a $700 profit there on a Patrick Mahomes Silver. At number three, 2010 Panini World Cup Lionel Messi number 44. Raw version of this card sells for about 200 bucks. And the GMA 10 of this one here sold for $1,530. Uh, to my knowledge, like I said, this these soccer sets sometimes are hard to find, especially the older ones. I did not find anything, but uh, for as long as parallels go. Um, but yeah, dude, a huge, huge thirteen hundred dollar profit on this card, and I'm sure that a month or two ago, this uh, dude, I've seen this card sell for you know a lot less. I saw one that sold for like nineteen bucks, dude. Like that. But going for two hundred dollars now, a rare card, and uh, yeah, you, you can pick it up right now, two hundred bucks. And uh, I'm not saying you're going to get fifteen hundred and thirty dollars for it, but what I'm saying is, is that the uh, there's a PSA ten listed for twenty four thousand right now, dude. You just you, you get a thousand bucks easily on this card. Uh, that number two is the twenty or two thousand seven Topps Chrome Kevin Durant rookie. Sold in a GMA 10 for $3,435. This is pretty close to what a base one has sold for on PSA 10s. I believe $45,000 to $6,000 a lot of times. Uh, but you can pick this card up for $250 to $300 raw right now. I saw a few of them. Uh, the thing about this card here is is that you could you could easily double your money if this you bought this card and it come back a 10. Like you could you could sell you know sell one or buy two, get them graded, sell one. <laughs> be sitting on a huge ass profit of almost three thousand dollars and send the other one to psa uh because like dude this one is definitely a psa 10 i see absolutely nothing wrong with this car perfect edges corners and uh the centering is 100 percent on it so yeah that's a good thing too but anyway yeah this is a, another one you could make a nice large profit on and dude, I've seen people sell them for fifteen hundred before on, on GMA tens. It doesn't matter; you're still making a huge bid on it. Uh, at number one is a 2017 Select Patrick Mahomes Tri-Color Wave 31 of 99 Prism Rookie. And dude, I could not find any Tri-Color Raw Patrick Mahomes that were available for sale last night when I was started doing my research. And uh, at, so here, here's the deal: the silver raw right now of this card uh you get, i found one that was current for 2275 dollars I, I don't know that it, it's not cr a, a crack one that was a psa 8 or something so you know don't don't just go out run and buy it because you you see that you know one sold for 3804 of this uh yeah there's this is nuts but there were also there's also from about 2200 to 2600 the premier level 
in all different colors and die cuts and there is a tri-color just like this one of the premier level up for 2500 i believe uh right now so you kind of you want to watch and see what that one does um that'd be cool uh, but yeah dude uh, this card in a bgs 10 sold for fourteen thousand five hundred dollars i believe um so yeah i mean another situation where a super high-end card uh, could be bought and it already graded a gma 10 like that doesn't mean that you're guaranteeing yourself a psa or bgs 10 what that does is it guarantees you that this card is in decent shape and you know may be able to resubmit to another company but what i also saw was this card sold I, I saw it when it popped up and it sold shortly thereafter i believe it was i, I had it sorted by newly listed uh and then switched to sold and it was like one of the first ones up there at the top so what that means is is that this card was severely underpriced there's not even any current ones for sale uh there are eight parallels to this card and uh yeah you can you know judge by that right there as kind of deal but yeah, that's our list i'm gonna go, flip over here right now to my uh, page here with the comps and just show you uh where i got these prices from you can see there's the bazooka lebron there's the mahomes right there thirty eight hundred four dollars uh kevin durant tops rookie we had a luka Doncic select that was super underpriced a lionel messi and a couple soccer cards on here yeah man so people saying soccer cards are down uh they're selling the wrong soccer cards apparently <laughs> lebron james 2003 campiano numbered uh one number one out of 500 uh the deandre hunter select courtside green we had in this card we did not have up here it popped up in a gma and yeah i didn't put that one on there because obviously it's psa mariano Vera rookie we have a tops chrome russell wilson a tops chrome refractor russell wilson another tops chrome refractor russell wilson the elite series patrick mahomes the silver prism patrick mahomes a kobe bryant uh flare metal and a cristiano ronaldo alt mr we have the box set complete set uh gma it says seven of this is not even all gma tens look at this this is the set that's a, the, the other set was all tens yeah this is the set i don't know how, why that picture looked like all tens on there probably because it was small uh we have the optic patrick mahomes we have the 08 07 08 tops chrome kevin durant here and that is it and that is your video for today uh please feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new we're going to be doing this every five to six days um updating you on yeah, probably some gma and as soon as i actually sack up and send off an order myself uh and yeah i'll let you guys know what i'm sending and how much i make when i send it anyway this is carson cruz hope you like the video